Welcome options traders. Hello everyone. I wanted to post another quick video here on another technical indicator that you can start using here for your trades and to help you make decisions. And that is the moving average envelope. It's very similar to a lot of the other banded type of technical indicators that we've talked about, but there's something special about the moving average envelope that really separates it from the others. And I think it's one that everybody should at least understand. So let's take a look at the moving average envelope. Well, the moving average envelope, like many of the other banded type of indicators, such as Bollinger Bands, Stark Bands, which we've talked about before, the moving average envelope is very similar in the fact that they are all designed to encompass most of the price action. It just gives you a nice visual of saying, where do most of the prices occur most of the time? So how do we read the chart? Well, it's very simple. You're going to take a moving average. Up to you which one you want to use. Shorter term traders might use a 14 day, 20 day, things like that. Longer term traders might use a 50 or a 100. But whichever moving average you select, it's going to take that number, whatever that average is, and it's going to take plus and minus some percentage of that, which you get to designate. So I might say plus and minus two and a half percent, plus and minus five percent. Now the drawback is that the moving average envelope doesn't account for volatility. And that means we must adjust it for each stock. However, that's also where one of its benefits lies because it's so different from the other ones. And that's why I wanted to present it to you here. When we looked at some of the others, such as Bollinger Bands, it used standard deviations to adjust for volatility. We looked at Stark Bands, and that used average true range as a way to adjust for volatility. When you're using indicators that adjust for volatility, for example, Bollinger Bands, you're going to notice that these bands expand and contract based on the volatility. So you can see over here at this left side of the chart, the bands there are fairly tight. But over here, after that big drop, the bands widen. Why do they do that? Because the volatility was higher. And that's a benefit. We can see the volatility changes, but we can also kind of mask those trends because I can't really see just how far the stock prices fell out of a range because the range is expanding. So of course, there are other insights we can get from the Bollinger Bands, which I've talked about in those videos. But the main thing is that the moving average envelope isn't going to have these expansions and contractions. So take a look at Stark Bands. Same idea here, except we're just going to be using average true range instead of standard deviation. But again, we have areas where the bands are fairly tight and we have areas where they're wider. So all of these envelopes have some type of mechanism that adjusts them for volatility. However, the moving average envelope does not, and that's what gives it a little bit of an edge compared to these others in some situations, mostly for trying to identify changes in the trend. So here we are in Options House platform and looking at Facebook. And for starters, I have put a 50-day moving average here in red. And I did that to show that it's a little hard to see where there are significant breaks. Yes, I can see that we are clearly below the moving average here, and that's significant, but how far below? Am I still within my plus or minus 5% range or 2.5% range? It's a little hard to visualize. Yes, I can see that the stock prices have broken above this 50-day moving average, but is it still within this band? And I can't really see that. So it's going to be a lot easier to see when I put a moving average envelope on. So let's go ahead and delete that for right now. I'm going to come up here to studies, all studies, and then let's swing over here to the M's and right there is moving average envelope. Choose that. I'm going to use closing prices period. Again, short term traders probably want to use 14 day, 20 days. I'm going to use a 50 day for longer term stock replacement type strategies. Now, I do get a little bit of a different set of choices here. I can change it to percentages, or I can change it to points, actual number of dollars. So it was originally designed as percentages, so I'm going to leave it there. And I can change the type of moving average. Simple, lots of different ones. I would probably stick with simple and exponential. You might, especially if you're a shorter term trader, want to use the exponential, you'll get less of a lag with it. But for longer term, it's just not going to make a difference. Now, the other thing is that when you're first setting up your chart, we don't know how wide we need to make these bands. And this is a little bit of a downside 
to the moving average envelope because we have to go through trial and error for each stock. So just for an example, let's say we don't know and I start out with something like 2%. I'm going to choose Save. The first thing to notice with the moving average envelope is that the upper and lower bands are parallel to each other. They're going to run parallel to this moving average, very different from the Bollinger Bands and Stark Bands. And that's because we're taking a moving average and just doing plus and minus whatever percent from that moving average. I can easily see that we have hit these upper and lower bands multiple times and even broken them. So this is really too low of a percentage, at least for this stock right now. Let's go back up here, moving average envelope. Let's make it maybe 5%. And I'm going to change that there. This actually looks pretty good. If you look at the start of the chart here, I've encompassed most of the price action. We get a few touches up in here. A couple of cases we've actually broken it, but not by much. Again, the idea is what is the bandwidth that encompasses most of the price action? So right now I kind of like the 5% number, but just for the video, let's go up and try something that might be clearly too wide. I'm going to put in, uh, let's say, 15%. And you can see rarely does it get anywhere near these upper and lower bands. So this was an exception down here, as was this, but you're just not going to get a lot of signals. So that's definitely too wide. So let's go back to the 5%. So the first thing to notice is that it's easier to identify the trend. I've got this kind of this wider range, this band, this envelope here that makes it easier to see that slightly trending up and not a big accelerated gain. So these are going to give me some indications that maybe we're more to the oversold side down here, a little bit more to the overbought side up here. And we're just oscillating back and forth. But notice here's a significant break right here. And this is where it will really start to shine. Because I have these envelopes on here, it's very easy to see that this is a significant break. I can tell that back in here, 5% was a pretty good plus and minus range. Not down here. This is definitely a clear break. So I'm anticipating a turn, looking at this as an oversold level. And I can also use other technical indicators, which I have stochastics right here down below. So I get my crossover here, which I've talked about in another video here with stochastics. So this might give me a buy signal down in here. I can tell that I'm clearly oversold. I'm getting stochastics to start turning up. Looks like a, a nice little buying opportunity in here. Now to the flip side, remember over here, it was kind of hard to see, even though our moving average was trending upwards, just how significant it was. But when I have my moving average envelope on here, I can see that this candle clearly broke up above this upper band, but notice that the candle stayed above it for most of that trend. This tells me that it's a very significant trend. I can see that because I've broken this upper band at plus 5%. And because I'm not accounting for the volatility, it's very evident that these candles are staying above it. So this is going to show me we're in a very strong uptrend right here. This is where you might want to do some of the rolling and even some of the laddering strategies where you sell 10 and buy 12, sell 12, buy 15 and things like that to increase the size of your position and the number of deltas in this strong trend. Now, just to make the comparison again, let's go back to Bollinger Bands, click on studies here. I'm going to put Bollinger Bands on. Just for comparisons, I'm going to stay with the 50 day moving average. Two standard deviations, click on save. See, it's a little harder to tell because my bands were fairly tight in here when we got this big gap. Look at how they widened. And so, yes, I can see that the candles are sticking towards the upper band, but it's really hard to see just how significant this is. But are we going to get faked out of it because we've now pulled away from this upper band? Remember, one of the tenets of Bollinger Bands is that when the stock price turns, there's a tendency to go all the way to the other band. This might have given you a little bit of a fake right here. I can't quite see the strength of this trend because it's adjusting for volatility. So another way of looking at it, uh, let's say this candle right here that came up to the band, did it go up to the band or did the band come down to it? Did volatility contract or was this really a significant price increase? It's a little hard to see. But when I go back to my moving average envelopes, I can see very clearly that we have broken above this trend and we are definitely above it. So when you use something like a moving average envelope, 
especially when you're looking at your major moving averages, we can also compare it against some of our lower studies. And you'd be surprised at how many times this will give you a much clearer picture and a lot more confidence to stay in those strong upward trends and roll those call options up. That's where the money is, and the moving average envelope can help you capture it. And for those who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab at OptionsAtoZ.com. Also, please join us at the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z. And you can find that group by clicking on the link in the description below.